estudiante, soy Alan. Hoy día vamos a hacer una lección sobre el pretérito de los verbos leer, oír, ver, decir, hacer y tener. Ok, so we're doing our preterite tense of leer, oír, ver, decir, hacer and tener. Ok, so we're just going to do some guided notes with examples today and this will be the, um, be able to be turned in for credit. Ok, so leer and oír. In the verbs layer, so write layer in the blank. And you can pause the video at any time if you need to write something. And oir, O-I-R with an accent on the I. The I, like I, the letter I, between the two vowels changes to Y. So just write Y in the blank. <coughs> Excuse me. In the L, ella, usted, and eos, eas, and ustedes forms. In other forms, leer and oir require an accent mark. So write accent mark in the blank. On the I, so the, the, it, it put I with an accent, to separate vowel sounds and to indicate how these words are pronounced. So write pronounced in the blank. Okay, so we're going to go through the conjugation of these verbs together. I know some of you have had these before, but we're going to, um, it'll be a review for you, but I think it's important to have these, um, these verbs handy, like just to know the, um, the preterite, I mean the conjugation. Okay, so we have layer, which means to read, so you can write to read in the blank. And it's yo lei, L-E-I with an accent on the I. Tu leiste with an accent on the I. L E I S T E. An accent on the I. Leo with an accent on the O. L E Y O. So you notice the I becomes a Y. Nosotros and nosotras leimos with an accent on the I. L E I M O S with an accent. Leiste with an accent on the I again, the first I. L-E-I-S-T-E-I-S, -E -E an accent on the I. And then ellos, ellas, and ustedes leyeron with a Y. You take out the I and you add a Y, and there's no accent. Leyeron. Okay, so oir is the next verb, and that is to hear. So yo oí with an accent on the I, O-I. Accent on the I. Tu oíste with an accent on the I. O I S T E. L A A U said O Y O with an accent on the O, and there's a Y that takes the place of the I. O Y O. Nosotras and nosotras oímos. O I M O S with an accent on the I. Vosotros and vosotras oísteis with an accent on the I, oísteis, O-I-S-T-E-I-S. And then ellos, ellas, and ustedes oyeron with a Y instead of an I. So there's no accent, O-Y-E-R-O-N. Okay. And then ver is to see. There's no accents on ver in the preterite. So V, V-I, for yo, tu viste, V-I-S-T-E, no accent. L A A U S E D V O with no accent V I O. Nosotros nosotras vimos V I M O S. Vosotros vosotras visteis V I S T E I S. And then A O S E S me se les dieron V I E R O N no accent. Okay, so part three says learning the preterite tense 
stems of Dicere, which is D-I-J, D-I-J, you can put in the blank. Acer, which is H-I-C, is a, um, the, the, pres the preterite tense stem. And Tener, T-U-V, T-U-V, will help you to use the preterite tense of these three irregular verbs. You will notice tener is conjugated exactly like, um, like, um, sorry, a star minus the, pre the um, prefix. I don't know, I might have mixed that up. Okay, so they see is to say or to tell, to say or to tell. And yo is dihe, no accent, D-I-J-E. Tu is dijiste, D-I-J-I-S-T-E. El ella usted is dijo, D-I-J-O. Dijimos is in the nosotros nosotras form, D-I-J-I-M-O-S. Vosotros and vosotras is dijisteis which is D-I-J-I-S-T-E-I-S -I -I with no accent. And then A-O-S-A-S and ustedes is dijeron with no accent. D-I-J-E-R-O-N. Okay. And then hacer is to make or to do. And the yo form of hacer is ise, H-I-C-E, no accent. Two is hiciste, H-I-C-I-S-T-E. L, ella, usted is iso, H-I-Z-O. That's irregular. Nosotros is hicimos, H-I-C-I-M-O-S. Nosotras, too. Vosotros and vosotras is hiciste, H-I-C-I-S-T-E-I-S. No accent. And then, um... Aos aos and ustedes is hicieron h i c i e r o n. Okay, and then we have tener, which is yo tuve t u v e. Tu tuviste t u v i s t e. L a a usted tuvo t u v o. Nosotros y nosotras is tuvimos t u v i m o s. Vosotros and vosotras is to be stays, T V I S T E I S. And Aos, uh, Aos, and ustedes is to be eron, T U V I E R O N. So to be eron. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do some examples. And um, I wrote them out on the board, but try to do them on your own too. Um, what did you do on Saturday? So pause the video and write down your answer. So write, que hiciste el sábado? Que hiciste el sábado? Number two, numero dos. I had a math test yesterday. Tuve un examen de matemáticas ayer would be the translation. Tuve un examen de matemáticas ayer. We did our Spanish homework, so again, you can pause the video. Right, and the answer would be, hicimos nuestra tarea de español. Nuestra tarea de español. Okay, Aiden and Savannah watched television last night. So you can pause the video and write your answer. So right, it would be Aiden and Savannah vieron la televisión anoche. Numero cinco, Ellen read a magazine this afternoon. So you can pause the video and write your answer. Right, and it's Ellen leo una revista esta tarde. Leo has an accent, L-E-Y-O. <coughs> Excuse me. Numero seis. David and Jensen had to go to the mall to buy a gift last Saturday. 
So you can pause the video and write the answer. So write David E. Jensen to Vienna on ear, al centro comercial para comprar un regalo el sábado pasado. Numero siete. I saw a great movie with my family on Sunday. So you can pause the video and write the answer. So write, vi una película estupenda con mi familia el domingo. Okay, numero ocho. My mother said that I had to go to the store this morning. So you can pause the video and write your answer. So right, mi madre dijo que tuve que ir a la tienda esta mañana. The boy told a lie. El chico dijo una mentira. Una mentira is a lie. Like I said, you can pause the video anytime if you need to write down something. Numero diez, you heard a song of your favorite singer this afternoon. Tu oíste? with an accent, una canción de tu cantante favorito esta tarde. Okay, so that's the lesson for today. So just um, complete this and hand it in for credit and then you're good. Okay, so have a good day, bye, bye.